Hi guys, my name is Louisa and I am representing Outside Lives Wild Tribe and today I'm going to be taking you on a bit of a virtual tour of one of my favourite woodlands so let's go! Guys, right, so the woodland I'm taking you around today is known locally as Bluebell Woods I can see they're out in full force at the moment um, So the blue bell, I'll get a close shot for you to have a look at. There we are. So it is native to this country, the blue bell. Um, it's not to get confused with the Spanish bluebells, which are quite often planted in people's gardens and they can escape sometimes. You do find them growing in hedgerows quite often. Um, but our bluebells are very dainty, as you can see, and quite a dark blue. And they only have their flowers grown on one side, as you see on this one here. Yeah, so it just they all hang down along the stem, all only on one side. And they've also got quite a strong scent as well, like really sweet. So at the moment, this woodland is just it just smells absolutely gorgeous. Um, they are also an ancient woodland indicator species. So, an ancient woodland indicator species is when you use the plants that grow somewhere as a bit of a clue to the age of the woodland. So, as you can see all those. Yeah, so bluebell's one of those. Dog's mercury, which we have here, actually. And they grow little spikes of yellow flowers a bit later on in the year. Wood anemones are also another ancient woodland indicator species. And there's loads more which I can't think of right now. <laughs> Uh, and you often use the plants in combination with things like old maps, records to try and estimate whether how long it's been there for. <coughs> so I can just see. And the reason why you get the bluebells growing this time of year, as well as a lot of the other spring woodland flowers, is because they're taking advantage of the canopy not being fully grown back yet, as you can see. Not all the trees are coming to leaf yet, so there's still quite a lot of sunlight against the ground. So often by the time the trees grow all their leaves back, the, the flowers are all finished then until the following year. And the bluebell flowers between April and May, and it spends most of its life cycle underground as a bulb. It takes around five years for a bluebell to go from a seed to a bulb. So yeah, it takes a very long time for them to get to cover this much area. Let's take you through here now. And some of the tree species we do have in here, so we've got a hazel just right in front of us there, which is multi-stemmed. A lot of sycamore. We've got some elder there as well, which you can see. And ash, so if we put you up there. So ash is one of the latest trees to come into leaf. Actually, if you compare that to this side. So they'll be coming along soon. And there's so many birds in here as well. It's so lovely to hear. And there's quite a few other species growing in here as well. So we've got just up here. So this white flower here is stitchwort. Let's get a bit closer. And they're they're found quite often in shady places. Um, I see them a lot along lanes and hedgerows. So similar to bluebell, they like the same sort of environment. We've also got some campion here as well. This is a really pretty flower, it's very really bright. See, there's quite a lot of that growing a bit further up there as well, but I don't think you can quite see. Here we are, we've got a white bluebell here, it's quite unusual. 
when bluebells are white like this, all it is, it's just a genetic, um, I can't remember what the word is, something to do with genetics anyway. So I think it's like one in 10,000, something like that, when it happens, but it is natural. It doesn't mean they've been planted. It's just something that happens every now and then with them. Yeah, so we're nearly come to the end of the woodland now. Yeah, it's really quiet down here as well. You don't often get to see people walking because it's a little bit out of the way. Yeah, we actually come to the end now, you can see where it starts to open up. Yeah, you can see a bit more clearly now with the ash trees. Look how a lot of them haven't got their leaves yet. There's just one there that's just starting to come now. that's the end of the video sorry if i rambled on a little bit at times um hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching bye